We are incredibly fortunate to exist in such an amazing world, full of an almost endless supply of spectacularly beautiful wonders. And in this video, we are going to give you our picks for the most beautiful places on the planet. Be sure to stick around to the very end of the video because our number one pick is guaranteed to blow your mind and is a place that most people have never heard of. Number 10 on our list is Pinagbuyatan Island, which is one of the most beautiful islands in the Philippines, which is a country famous for beautiful islands. This uniquely shaped landform features dramatic towering cliffs, lush jungle greenery, and a wraparound white sand beach that flows into translucent bluish turquoise water. The island only has one single structure, which is a small cottage that houses the caretakers of the island. The primary way to visit Pinabuyatan is to join one of the local island hopping tours that take people around the El Nido Islands on small catamaran sailboats. The only other way to visit the island is to convince a local boat owner to take you. Pinabuyatan is a popular snorkeling spot due to having several beautiful reefs to explore just offshore. And at number 9 is Ha Long Bay off the coast of Vietnam in the Gulf of Tonkin. The bay is home to a dense cluster of 1,600 monolithic islands and islets, each adorned with lush tropical vegetation. The tall, narrow islands rise up spectacularly from the ocean, forming a breathtaking seascape of stone pillars. The magical appearance of the bay is enhanced by small pockets of floating fishing villages and an array of fishing boats and small cruise ships that weave around the islands. The two largest islands, Tuan Chao and Katba, offer hotels, restaurants, palm tree forests, and white sand beaches. Several of the islands are hollow and filled by enormous caves. The ideal way of exploring the bay is to book passage on one of the many small cruise ships that take people on tours of the bay. These tour cruises last from a few hours up to a few days, and many offer luxurious accommodations such as posh private cabins with balconies, jacuzzis, and on-boat restaurants. Many of these boats are basically miniature cruise ships, and some of them are crafted in the authentic Chinese junk boat style. These cruises also offer excursions where you can visit the fishing villages, swim and kayak in the water, enjoy secluded beaches, explore caves, or take in beautiful hiking trails that wind around some of the islands. And number 8 on our list is another magical looking place known as Plit Visa Lakes National Park, which is located in Croatia. The world-famous park showcases 16 turquoise-colored lakes that are all interconnected by flowing water passing through creeks, waterfalls, and underground rivers, as the land slowly slopes downward. The lakes are separated by natural barriers covered with a diverse mix of plant life. These natural dams are known as travertine, which is created from thick deposits of moss and algae that have become encrusted over time allowing for the accumulation and solidification of limestone. These unique hydrological elements, combined with exceptional biological diversity, have contributed to the park's international fame. The area is the oldest and largest national park in Croatia, and it has several trails that allow visitors to explore the park's immense beauty. Much of the trails consists of boardwalk that cross over the edges of the lakes, giving hikers an up-close view of the lake water, in addition to the many cascades that flow over the travertine. And coming in at number 7 is the Isle of Skye, located in the Inner Hebrides of Scotland, which is a cluster of islands just off the rugged west coast of the country. The Isle of Skye has become famous for its dramatic mountain scenery, where exquisitely curved hills cradle fairy pools, magnificent rock formations, and long stretches of open grassland. Along the island's coast, the rocky slopes flow into imposing peninsulas lined with beautifully steep cliffs that drop into the Atlantic Ocean. The area exemplifies the iconic beauty of the Scottish Highlands. If you'd like to visit the island, there are numerous house rentals available that offer breathtaking views, in addition to a historic castle and garden estate that offers several guest cottages. And up next at number 6 on our list is the Arashiyama Bamboo Forest, located just outside the northern edge of the charming Japanese city of Kyoto. It is considered one of the most beautiful forests in Japan and includes trails that meander through the seemingly endless rows of towering bamboo. The experience of being surrounded by millions of swaying bamboo has been described as dreamlike and otherworldly. As you walk through the serene forest, you'll become engulfed in an emerald light that shimmers through the stalks and infuses the area with an enchanting aura, which is enhanced by the sounds of creaking wood and rustling leaves. 
the collective sounds of the forest were actually officially named as one of the top soundscapes of Japan. The park is open 24-7 and is free of charge. However, you do have the option to hire a rickshaw driver to carry you through certain parts of the park. If you do decide to visit the forest, we recommend that you coordinate your trip to align with the Kyoto cherry blossom season, when the city explodes with various shades of pink. The season typically occurs roughly between March 20th and April 14th. And at number 5 on our list is Antelope Canyon, which is located on Navajo land in far northern Arizona. The canyon is an iconic example of what is known as a slot canyon, which are long, narrow canyons formed by flowing water eroding sedimentary rock, such as sandstone and limestone. Over the course of millions of years, frequent flash floods have deepened the passageways of Antelope Canyon, and the fast-moving water has carved wave-like curves into the sandstone walls, which exquisitely reflect the flow of water. The canyon's geological formation is actually described in its Navajo name, which translates to the place where water runs through rocks. Adding to the beauty of the canyon is how beams of sunlight shine through the narrow, undulating crevices and splash splendid patterns of light against the striated stone. Be sure not to enter the canyon if there are any signs of rain, because flash flooding in the area can quickly create a danger of drowning. And coming in at number 4 is Salar de Uyuni, which is the largest salt flat in the world. The surreal landscape covers 4,000 miles of southwest Bolivia and offers two completely different appearances. During the wet season, the land becomes completely covered with a thin layer of water, which creates a mirroring effect that merges lake and sky into an illusion of infinity. When the area is dry, the flat turns into a far-stretching sheet of brilliantly white tiles, juxtaposed against dark mountains on the horizon. Visit Salar de Uyuni during the rainy season, between December and April, if you'd like to see the water reflecting the sky. And up next at number 3 is the area around the town of Ubud on the Indonesian island of Bali. This tropical countryside consists of lush jungle, tangerine groves, and intricately laid rice terraces that are sculpted into the natural flow of the land. The area is also garnished with dozens of quaint villages and an enticing selection of resorts that effectively blend luxurious accommodations into the natural aesthetic of the jungle. The best way to explore this area is to rent a bicycle or motor scooter and cruise around the rice fields and villages. Be sure to also visit the Ubud Monkey Forest, which is a beautiful sanctuary for over a thousand Balinese long-tailed macaques. And for our second-placed pick, we had intended to choose one of the many fjords that Norway has become famous for. However, trying to choose the most beautiful one proved to be an exercise in futility. Therefore, we instead decided to combine them all into one single selection. So in second place, we present to you the fjords of Norway. Fjords look like wide rivers, but are actually long, narrow ocean inlets that pierce far inland and are lined by steep sides, sharp cliffs, and often towering mountains. They were created during the last ice age when the movement of gigantic glaciers slowly scoured the land, sculpting enormous grooves that eventually became the fjords. The mixture of salt and fresh water contained within the fjords create a unique estuary ecosystem that supports a variety of wildlife, including porpoises, seals, and a wide range of fish and birds. These impressive bodies of water have supplied one of the best ways to explore the Scandinavian peninsula by providing inland pathways that many cruise ships take advantage of. And before we give you our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. A large part of this channel's mission is to be a global travel guide, offering its audience enticing views of all corners of the world, in addition to insightful tips on how best to enjoy these areas. We'll be making videos about every type of place, including overviews of entire countries and more narrow pieces about individual cities, villages, and even neighborhoods. Our video library will take you on an incredible journey around the world, while exploring national parks, tropical islands, geological wonders, and wilderness areas, in addition to castles, vineyards, hotels, adventure destinations, and historical sites. We'll also show you a wide array of vacation spots, ranging from rustic to luxurious. If this seems like your cup of tea, then please consider clicking the subscribe button and then the notifications bell, which will notify you when we release a new video. 
And if there's a particular location you'd like us to cover in a future video, feel free to write about it in the comments below the video. And we do read all of our comments. And finally, our number one pick for the most beautiful place in the entire world is the Wuling Wan Scenic Area, located in the Hunan province of South Central China. The site features a concentration of hundreds of narrow column-shaped rock formations that pierce dramatically through thick pockets of fog. The sandstone pillars are topped by lush patches of forest and are accompanied by sharp mountain peaks and ridges with steep cliffs. Most of the pillars are over 200 meters in height, and some are half the height of the Empire State Building. Beneath the forest of towering pinnacles lies a valley consisting of majestic pools, streams, and waterfalls that flow into ravines and gorges, in addition to around 40 caves and two large natural bridges. The area also forms a thriving ecosystem of endangered plant and animal species. If you think these uniquely shaped pillars seem like something from some fictional world, you'd actually be right. These were the inspiration for the floating Hallelujah Mountains of Pandora in the blockbuster movie Avatar. If you aren't afraid of heights, the best way to explore the area is to board one of the zipline cable cars that carry visitors through the colossal rocks. And by the way, this channel not only covers beautiful places, but also discusses the history, geography, and cultures of every corner of the world. We are basically the cool cousin of National Geographic. If you'd like to check out our channel trailer, click on the end screen thumbnail.